welcome to all this is exam race and we are here for just a small topic lagrangian equation of physics this equation or uh, the question regarding to this equation lagrangian equation is most important because each and every time is every year and for every exam the question is common from this type of equation so we will see what it is and how it can be used to solve the questions see we know the classical mechanics and newtonian mechanics and newtonian mechanics what happen in newtonian mechanics you have newton's law in newtonian mechanics newtonian mechanics we have newton's law and the most famous law is the second law of newton rate of change of momentum is what force similarly for classical mechanics classical mechanics there is a replacement of newton's law and this replacement is by lagrangian by lagrangian in newtonian mechanics the newton's law is about the force and the mass acceleration rate of change of momentum these type of terms but in lagrangian but in lagrangian there is a general generalized coordinate generalized coordinate coordinates to represent the equation generalized coordinate to represent the equation of lagrangian or we can see equation of motion this equation or this concept of lagrangian is applicable for all dynamical problem in the mechanics okay we will just see what is the lagrangian equation so for conservative system i'm talking about for conservative system the system must be conservative okay for conservative system the lagrangian equation is lagrangian equation is like d over dt dl upon d cube dot minus dl upon d cube d and which is equals to which is equals to zero for conservative system now what is l what is l here l is the lagrangian equation and which is equals to t minus v this is the lagrangian equation and t is the kinetic energy and v is the potential energy for any system for any conservative system and l is the lagrangian equation what is q and q dot these are generalized coordinate generalized coordinates we will see what happened to the generalized coordinate what happened to the lagrangian with a question okay so the question is a weed slide on a smooth rod which rotates with a fixed axis and uniform angular velocity omega in a vertical plane so first draw the vertical plane a plane is like this this is the vertical plane with the axis x axis and y axis and the rod is fixed with one end so the rod is fixed and it is moving with the angular velocity omega so it is moving with the angular velocity omega means theta is changing the rod has some length and that length must be then the length must be r okay that length must be r now first thing is write the equation write the equation for kinetic energy then for potential energy and then put them in the lagrangian so what is the kinetic energy here 
kinetic energy is the energy regarding the motion so the motion is about the angle theta and also that see weed is means weed is changing weed is just like this what i want to say is weed is changing means changing with time initially the weed will be here and if we start rotating the position of weed changes so means this r is changing theta is also changing so what is the kinetic energy what will be the kinetic energy here kinetic energy is denoted by kinetic energy is denoted by t t is the kinetic energy so it will be it will be like first of all half if we consider the, the mass of bead vm so it is half mv square but here r is changing with time so we will write that as r dot square plus half mv square is over now another is due to the change of angle or we can what what we can say about the angular velocity it is kinetic energy energy due to angular velocity so it is half mv square one is and another is half m r omega square so that is what theta okay half m r square omega square because we know half mv square means v is equals to r omega so we replace that with r and theta okay theta dot theta dot is what theta dot is what d theta by dt now this t uh, kinetic energy is this so i can write this as half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square another thing what is potential energy see the potential energy here potential energy is about height so what will be the height here it is mgh mg what is h h is r sin theta so we know t we know v we can just find the easily l l is what t minus v this is the lagrangian this is the lagrangian so first question was find lagrangian so l will be t is half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square minus m g r sin theta this is the lagrangian this is the lagrangian we got it now come to the how to find the equation of motion with this so our equation is l is equals to half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square minus m g r sin theta we have two generalized coordinate here one is r and other is theta so first we will write Lagrange's equation of motion equation of motion for generalized coordinates so for I'm, I'm writing it for r d over dt dl upon r my r dot this is r dot r dot and dl upon dr and which is equals to zero so what is dl upon dr differentiated it will be half m half is uh, cancel out with two so it is m r dot it is m r dot and again differentiating it with t we will got m r double dot minus what about dl by dr it is <coughs> m r theta dot square for this differentiation and for this it is m g sin theta so uh, <coughs> this is what this is the first equation this is the first equation of motion another one another one we know 
with the t over dt dl by d theta dot minus dl upon d theta which is equals to 0 so i'm writing it here what about d theta dot differentiated so we will got m r square theta dot and again differentiating so i got m r square theta double dot minus what about dl by d theta again differentiated so it is m g r cos theta which is equals to zero so you got these two equations of motion with the lagrange okay so this is the final answer for more and complete course subscribe to www.doorstepcuter.com thank you